Listen to me. Let's talk about social, social security. security. I am. It's a new hey, 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 Good morning and your <laughs> <laughs> social security because you deserve a future. I am yours truly, Camilla Lawrence, public relations manager. This morning, we're going to be tapering down the conversation around the stimulus. Um, we've been at this since April. And so we want to ensure that persons know what's happening there and that we go back to some sense of normalcy, especially as we borders are reopening and the figures are showing that more and more persons are actually going back to work so it's time that we stop mm -hmm. waiting for the ships to come back no the ships need to come back yeah, they will, but we, ain't got to wait for them, no? we need to you know turn the phone upside down be according to financial information month be innovative and do something in the meanwhile to help yourselves i'm seeing more and more pop-ups of persons who are using their talents to mm -hmm. to bake to do hair, to do nails mm -hmm. to you know help themselves and that's a good good <coughs> thing so i'm not encouraging you to just lay back and sit down and say boy this is it and i'm gonna fall up and die miss lounge i support that 100 percent about 80 percent no come to give me the full hundred because you said that we need to do something in the meantime until yes. it I don't yes. think we need to do something. I think we need to just do, just do something. Yeah, do and something. Then, and then when you come back, then, then we continue extra. doing something. Exactly, continue doing something, and, and yes. then the tourism is the extra. That's the yes, gravy. Exactly. Yes. You know what you want me? You know, I mean, we should come in and wearing any kind of taxi. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> listen. I mean, this whole experience. We had so much plans for 2020. 2020 was a clear violence. I was supposed to come rich this year too. You were supposed to go where? I was supposed to come rich. Yeah, a lot of things were supposed to happen. Um. I see my refund from you, but Uber. So, I mean, hey, hey. I mean, you got small change? No, all. Right? Wow. So, but you're going to end on into something else because, you know, the bills come of now. Course, of so, course. um, things were supposed to happen. They're Apex. no longer. Mm -hmm. Not keep. Apex, so not, not keep like that, but we have to do something to make sure that we could see beyond this because I don't believe this is the end of it. Yeah. yeah. No, man, no, man. They got I'm to next year, we're going to deal with this still. I know, next year, but we have to get past this slum that most of us have caught ourselves in. Um, October is also Mental Health Month, and it's going to wind down just now. But mm. a lot of persons have felt depressed, anxious, all kind of things over. They don't know what's happening tomorrow. So I'm just here to encourage us today mm -hmm. to live up. Tomorrow is better than today and um, before i joined you guys i heard y'all <coughs> speaking about the seriousness of this illness um and the borders yeah. and the borders reopening and our don't care attitude everywhere you go is just nonchalance and so on i think right here in saying it's we have this thing that we have to be affected personally for it to make sense for yes mm -hmm. um I was in studio about a week ago with a colleague here and he was speaking about on the we were talking about financial information month and at that very point it became personal to me because he was speaking about talking to his mother on the phone who resides in Jamaica mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then hearing that she fell, they took her to the hospital 
as she developed COVID there and died. I got goosebumps because, yes, because he was just talking casually to his mother and not expecting that COVID, because he said, I saw it on TV. I thought, that's the Chinese and the thing, and that's the end of that. But it came mm -hmm. personal to him. I mean, imagine not being able to bury your mother, be there at the funeral, because he's stuck over here. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want that experience. I don't want to know that I could relate to the <coughs> loss of my friend mm -hmm. or my loved one, because we were all careless. And we've yeah. been all careless, all of us. Right, so I'm encouraging us to take it very seriously. Um, do your precautions, follow the protocols. If they say three feet, practice three feet as much as possible. Um, limit your ins and outs, and just yeah. just level yourself. Cause we gotta get past this. It's daunting, yes, but we have to get past this. Yes, but think it's a a nervous. You know, historically, is a, is a very resilient nation. Yes, we are. No, no, keep us down at all. No. But in about a weekend. I, and I, I'm go I was just about to say, I mean, I think when I look at it, maybe we are God's favorite gem in the Caribbean, eh? It's, it's evident. It's evident. Because <laughs> things just, just be coming straight to us. And when they look, he said, no, not them there, you know. Even the was how you came here, that which was Hugo. That ain't come After we went back to normal, like, exactly. it was just... <laughs> and then, like, you know, there's a situation of the islands right next to us being yes, severely totally damaged. totally devastated. And we just, like, a couple tre trees blow over and mm -hmm, we're good to go. Mm -hmm. And then they were looking over the fence, like, damn. Th that's what happened over there, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and and we're going to cross the bike. <laughs> yeah, and then we do our best to help them. But in this situation, I don't think that... We are inevitable, and it, it's and it's against us. We are not in a bubble. We yeah. are opening. We are reopening, and so I want us to take those precautionary measures, especially as we go back to work. Um, wear your mask, sanitize. Remember to wash your hands for at least thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, we I have some figures here from the September payments. We are still mm -hmm. not yet close to the three thousand applicants. We're still making payments. I'm told that at least 500 will be going through sometime before the week is done. We have paid out 1.8 million, almost two, of the three that's allocated for this. So 1,892 persons have benefited thus far. 1,487 on St. Kitts and 405 on Nevis. Now, some persons seem to think that... Um, they're still eligible even if they've applied for severance. If you've applied for severance, you're no longer eligible for the September payment because you're in the line, you're in the process of getting your pay or what we call we gratuity money locally. So the severance fund will take care of that. Um, Yesterday, I'm giving you a roundabout of what's happening at Social Security outside of the COVID payments. So we are still making payments. I also want to talk about those persons who have indicated that they have not received their June payments. That also will be taken care of today. Well, in the week, in this week. So that process will start this week. Some persons, for one reason or the other, mm -hmm. they got thrown out of the loop for the June payments. And so we are going to be making up for that from this week onward. We had paused in order to take care of the bulk of the September payments, but we are reverting to mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So if you have not seen anything, I think it's better that you come to the office so that we can provide you an update. It's sensitive information to provide over the phone. We'd have to do some verification and, you know, to make sure we are in fact talking to the same person. So yeah. Make sure that, you know, come and see us. It's good. The face-to-face -face contact is good. So come and, let me, and you, I mean, <coughs> nobody don't deal sabotaging you and hide your paper nowhere. If you understand the magnitude of the tasks we had to do when persons were locked down, we were at work. So I want people to appreciate that we too have relatives who are going through the same situation. I know of households where five of them worked at the Marriott. Mm -hmm. And so five of them were all looking at each other, not having anything at the mm -hmm. time. But we have worked on that. So we understand the difficulty. Mm -hmm. in, in addition to this, we still continue our daily work of people who are making their claims for sickness and um, maternity, age benefits, funeral grants. It's still 
normal work as usual, but with the addition of, of managing the relief fund process. So this has been difficult. I know we've done some things that we could have done better looking back at it, but we want you to work with us as we try our best to ensure that everybody at least gets something during the difficult time that we've already passed. However, again, we're going back to reopening the borders. This means a new set of uncertainties. We don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Persons are encouraged to follow the protocols, wash your hands, don't take this thing lightly. I mean, what more can we do? It's not, there's no injection yet. There's no, nothing, no pill you can take yet. So in the meantime, we have to do what we need to do put, to protect our loved ones. Y'all were mentioning, you know, imagine you being careless and taking it home to your parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to. How how you face yourself? And, you know, like, like, like we're saying, part of that is going to be like a blame game. Mm -hmm. Because you are going to recklessly and carelessly take it home to your parents, mm -hmm. but then you're going to blame the person that carelessly infected you. And took it, take his whole self out of the equation. And remove equation. yourself out of the equation. Yeah. So we have to be very, very careful. I mean, if we say we ain't scared, we'd be lying. If we're not anxious about what's, ne what's next, we'd be lying. But all we could do is be cautious. I want it to be in your head that some of us will get sick. Some of us will actually get sick and, God forbid, we have any deaths related to COVID, but we just got to do our part. Stop laughs. I'm <laughs> 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 why you're blowing off like that. It's depressing, man. Boy, we're not going to... Not COVID, you know? Our, our, our lack of taking it seriously is depressing. Oh, yes. I mean, me and a boy. I like my lipstick, eh? I like my lipstick, sure. Mm -hmm. So that's <laughs> that's <laughs> my challenge, dear. But I put on my lipstick on the I put in my mask over my lipstick. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. I mean, not to like put on your mask every day, boy. Your mask, but you must be high. Boy. <laughs> wow. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Indeed. Mhm. Mm um. Indeed. What else is there? No, employers also have been coming, and you know. They've said, you know, we're having some difficulty meeting our obligations. We understand. So we don't want you to stay away and hide and duck out. Because this has also exposed a lot of employers. Persons have presented themselves with their paychecks, their pay slips. And when you look in the system at Social Security, there's no record of that person even working with that employer. So we've had some dishonest employers COVID has shown us a lot a lot a lot of things so we've had dishonest employers um and again social security always say check on your status just like how you check your phone status check on your status at social security so that you can know if your employer is not paying you can't wait for 10 years and we've seen this 10 years have passed that somebody's working for somebody and not one record there so i mean and mm -hmm. the inspectorate at social security it's only 13 of us 13 mm -hmm. inspectors but we have a society of people who know things mm -hmm. and you have a right to mm -hmm. bring it to our attention so that we can stop it imagine this is true you know we see people who are one contribution or one week short of getting an, a monthly pension so they're stuck at 499 with a search all over to see if we could find that one contribution so that person could have a steady monthly income. It's not there. Some persons are way off because they have not checked all the years they've worked with such and such. They have not paid attention to the contribution statements that we send out. Mm -hmm. They have never come in to ask a question. Mm -hmm. They've never claimed. So then when they do come, there's really no record. Mm -hmm. And it's probably sometimes at that point, it's very late. It's too late. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the employer is already out of business. Um, things are, are far too gone for us to do any remedy there. So right. again, check on your contribution status. We've also seen many self-employed persons, and I would like to big them up at this point. Those who weren't registered come in and say, hey, I want to be covered. Mm -hmm. I mean, the purpose of, so of Social Security is not COVID relief stimulus. Mm -hmm. That was just something that was found to be necessary to ensure that the economy does not flop. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine 
8,000 plus people in April not having anything at all, that's a big, big deal mm -hmm. for what Social Security mm -hmm. did. So um, by June, we were down to 5,500 people. So between April to June, already 3,000 persons gone back in the workforce. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing the numbers increasing. But um, self-employed persons have come in, and they're coming in to say, I think it's time I take this seriously. We don't know what's going to happen in the second wave. We don't know if there's going to be another set of stimulus funds, but we know we have to do something. And Social Security is important, so you have to pay your Social Security in order to benefit. Mm -hmm. Like the lottery, you have to be in it to, to win, win it. it. Yeah. Um, and there are many testimonies of good stories where a person said, without Social Security, I don't know where I'd be. Mm -hmm. um, some employers pay you when you're sick. Most employers don't. And you could understand why they don't. They have to find somebody to do your job while you're not there. Um, and so it's difficult for them to keep paying you while you're out. Social Security fills that gap of 65%. I mean, I'm not going to say we're always early because there are difficulties. Mm -hmm. But we do fill that gap. Persons are assured of a guaranteed income when situations arise. None of us know when the situation can change. I often talk about a young man that I met on the hospital bed back in 2008. He got injured on his job at a very young age, probably 19. He, he never walked again. He has not walked again. Mm -hmm. And... Because of his contributions from 16 to 19. And you can imagine what his wages are at that time. Small money. Mm -hmm. For the rest of his life, Social Security has to take care of him. Mm -hmm. Many get so close, he's my son's godfather. Mm -hmm. Because we formed a bond right there. I didn't know him or anything. But this is to show you that. So, and not just him. Social Security have to pay the person who takes care of him. Well. Yes, it's called constant care allowance. Um, and so there are many stories like this where Social Security is persons go to their guaranteed source of income when things happen. So I want especially young people not to take it for granted. For a long time, young people, don't, we don't take, well, I ain't it to a young. I mean, of course. Yeah. We don't take things seriously until something bad happens. And we got to change that. We have to prepare. And we don't hear with parents say it all the time. Prepare, preparation, poor preparation. Well, how we go again, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Prevents pop. How we go? I don't know. Yes. Poor, <laughs> poor preparation. As M. How we go? F poor preparation presents. Oh, my gosh. Boy, I know what I mean. It says if you fail to. To, to prepare. Yes. <laughs> if you fail to prepare. You your plan to pay up. up. Well, well <laughs> your, your, your plan to pay up? Your plan to plan fail. To fail yeah. right? Failure to prepare is a plan for failure? Yes, yeah, something like that. Let's just Or poor that. preparation. Wherever. <laughs> but I, I, get, I can't believe this. But if we don't plan, we'd end up not being covered. So you got to plan for the eventuality. I think I would have done well my, with my time. Right? Very well. well. And nobody call you though. No, I maybe we ain't getting no, no, no chance. No, no we unplugged the phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I would look so, up, actually. So, again, I would. before I wrap up, I just want to say, you know, we are still working and we are still committed to the purpose of Social Security to provide benefits for eligible persons. Once you, you qualify, you qualify. There's no... And we love having you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So, guys, have a good day. <laughs> Employers, remember to pay your contributions. You know, come in. We understand if you can't do it in full and on time, but come in and let's have a conversation. Self-employed persons. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Thank you for um, um, self-employed persons. Oh. Thank you for coming in even now to register. And if you have any questions, you want to talk to me, call the office at 465 Two five three five extension two six zero four or drop us an email at pubinfo at socialsecurity.kn. We're also on all the social media platforms, so you have every opportunity to talk to us. Or if you like, come to the office and ask to see me. I'm have right. a blessed day, everyone. Take care. Be safe. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Get
Getting sure to be sure of your benefits Sickness and maternity, I'll tell you about the rest of it Survivors, grand your spouse and kids get the best of it Let me mention pension when you're 62 When you're done work hard and retire, this is what to do Listen this, social security is working for all your benefits Funeral grant to help every one of your relatives Come register for this Social security Social security So every time you get your pay Social security Maybe it's the way the brilliant gold liquid reflects our sunshine, or how the bright blue of its label mirrors the clear Caribbean skies overhead. Maybe it's the fresh, crisp taste of this beastly cold beer on a scorching hot day. Maybe it's even the way it brings us all together. But one thing is for sure, Carib is very much a part of who we are wherever we're from in the Caribbean. Carib. It's the way we play. Drink responsibly. Did you sell? Did you sell? You know it's a vibe. Brand new life is a promise. Mm -hmm. Steady striving for more. No more limitations. Ah, passionate communication. Reaching every heart to the generations. Innovation all for the community. Proud to bring unity. It's a movement with a new source of energy. Yeah. Freedom feels like It's the best A whole new world To take you higher We're better together It's the Hot Sweats Building Center's very good electrical and plumbing fixture sales event happening now until October 31st. All, all electrical and plumbing fittings will be discounted by 25%. That's right, 25% off all electrical and plumbing fixtures happening now until October 31st. The very good electrical and plumbing fixture sales event at Hot Sweats Building Center's on St. Kitts and Nevis. They're very good products, They're very good prices, They're very good. Good discounts on all electrical and plumbing fixtures at Hotspots Building and Nevis Centers happening now. Please, very good. See store for details. Follow you, Papa. follow you, Cause I'm in love yeah. with you. 